Hallelujah. Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. These are angels' voices, and I wanted them to be the background for my video because I have an astounding vision from YouTube viewer codename Believe. And here's her dream. Thank you once again, sister, for sharing my dream. If you're able to, please share with the viewers this beautiful vision I had. Because many don't understand how glorious our Heavenly Father truly is. And although we are in uncertain times, Jesus is on the throne and very much in control. And he loves our, our true worship. A few years ago, I was sitting on my front porch. It was early evening and a beautiful warm breeze was blowing through the air. The street I lived on was quiet. And as I sat there, I began to pray and thank the Lord for all his blessings and mercies. I prayed for people I know and just talked and spent time honoring the Lord. And I sang to him and prayed with my eyes closed, singing softly. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. All of a sudden, a vision started to appear. I began to see angels from the street level in front of me. They had on long white robes and golden trumpets as we often hear and more and more started to appear they formed two rows going from the street level up into the sky i continued to sing hallelujah hallelujah softly i felt like my eyes should follow up between the rows of angels with their trumpets as i continued to sing my eyes went up and up and all of a sudden, I saw the Lord's hand appear. And my praise became this beautiful gem, which he accepted into his hand as a gift. So it was my praise that I was following up with my eyes. The vision was so beautiful to see my praise turned into a jewel and the Lord accepted it into his mighty hand. I did not see the Lord fully. I only saw his acceptance of my praise into his open hand. I felt so honored to give a gift to our Lord. I'm not a boastful person and would never have thought that my praise could have turned into something so special to the Lord. Just then, a neighbor's car came down the street and I was out of the vision. But later on, I thought, wow, why a blue gem? So I looked in the Bible and it does mention blue gems a few times. Sapphire. I'm not much of a gem expert, but it was again a beautiful vision. I believe it was from the Lord. So my experience is to share how much the Lord truly loves true worship and praise with him. It's not important. Excuse me. It's so important. It makes him very, very happy. You know what? Pat's two cents. We don't realize how much our praise and worship means to God. But put it down in human terms. Imagine how much life and vibrance you place into a child's heart when you tell them how wonderful they are. Imagine how a husband and wife can bask 
in each other's love and affection and appreciation when all of that is in the mix and they're both feeling it at the same time. That is rich. And both appreciate receiving it from the other. But when we give it to God, that's when it's worship. Basking in our love for him. Basking in his love for us. Do you hear me? Ask God to commune with you as you sing praises to him. Worship him in the spirit of holiness. Love him. Bless him. Jesus said, they that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. God bless you as you commune with the Lord.